Okay, I've taken um, a few times to make this video because this person is so crazy and insane and I don't know where the fuck she gets her information from right wing right wing radical dot com dot au because she apparently is Australian and yes she's a woman so I don't give it and I, and I don't give a shit because I don't give a shit about identity politics because I actually believe in freedom of speech and freedom of religion and freedom of I believe in freedom pretty much yeah across the board but I also believe in regulation and, and having a social safety net and that the problems of bringing other people from an, another country into this one <laughs> and bitching about it is one of the stupidest things I've ever heard because of things coming out of the, the detention centers over there and how long it takes for people to come to this country to begin with and to think that someone would go through all that and then they're, they're not going to be Australian and how racism is just about someone's skin colour and that's it that's stupid that's what we tell children so we can teach them so we can they can begin to understand it not the beginning and ending of understanding it it's a, ba it's a basic way of describing it this woman is stupid and not because she's on the right wing it's because she's so incredibly stupid and then she puts this stuff on the internet and oh my by the way she clearly wants some sort of gun and she wants the right if someone breaks into her place and doesn't come anywhere near her she has the right to shoot, kill them, and or stab them and kill them. But basically, uh, once you enter her home, if you uh, come in there unwarranted, that automatically gives you a death sentence. If you steal something of hers, you should die. Not just be thrown in prison, but die. That's, this is what this person believes. And she believes that she has the right to walk around the streets of wherever the fuck she lives in Victoria and be able be able to kill if someone if they if they approach her and try and steal her purse or something. That that, that that's that's where and she believes that you do not have a right to self defence in Australia. That this is what this person actually believes. Just because you were not allowed to carry around a weapon of it, this is what this person believes. <laughs> That's what this person believes. Now, I haven't watched every single solitary one of her videos because I actually want to keep my intelligence intact. But I've watched about uh, three, maybe two and a half. I really. I watched the one she did on gun, uh, the gun laws uh, comparing them to Australia and America and that was moronic. She went to the r same right wing thing thinking that everyone has uh, that hasn't have had enough effect on the the murder rate so it can uh, it's not effective. It's stop mass shootings in this country. It didn't stop all the murders because you can't do that. because we do not live in the perfect world world so yeah and uh, gangs and stuff are still going to exist in this country and mind you she talked about a, a massacre or something that happened over a few days in a, ga a gangland shooting or maybe it was a few years actually I can't remember but it was, it was over a decent length of period where this gang killed a little over the, the same amount as people were killed in Port Arthur. So it took that long for some uh, for, for that to happen. So yeah.
look, it's it, it ba This is ridiculous, and she says, "Oh well, back uh, before the like ten years before it, the the mass shootings didn't start until ten years before." Okay, fine. And then they were on, supposedly on a downturn. I've seen the things, uh, and I saw it. it. It was on a slight downtick. It wasn't completely on a downtick. It was on a slight downtick. And yeah, just you do not. If someone breaks in, basically this is my belief, you, if someone breaks into your house and steals your TV, you, you have the right to try and stop them, but you do not have the right to kill them. Because that is not the way the world works. Just because someone comes into your home unwelcome, you have, you have the right to say, get out I'm calling the police if they approach you and they're, they're going to try and hit you then you have the right to defend yourself you do not have the right to kill them if they see you and you say hey I'm calling the police and then they start to run away from you to chase after them and kill them now she spoke of a few instances where Sounds like someone got the raw end of the deal, but you can cut that out to someone didn't have a good lawyer or something, but or they stepped over the line, or you didn't get the whole story. She talked about an instance where someone was breaking into a breaking into not hadn't broken into a pub and got their head bashed in, and then got sued for for it. Yeah. <laughs> And then the mother had the audacity to sue and actually get money to try and help her son get back to health. Yeah, look, if someone breaks into your place, they are, they're an ass. You kill them, yeah, that makes you a monster. And like, uh, when someone bashes you in the head with a bat, it's not fun. So look. And yeah, I've heard these stories before. I've heard of a story of someone coming in through a skylight and then landing on, on a knife and getting charged with uh, something as well. So yeah, look, we've all got those stories, but at the end of the day, look, this person is stupid. So I don't want her to be exited off. YouTube or anything, go ahead, keep talking because it's fun to know where idiots are. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.